Hi dear friends, how are you? Hope you are safe. Uh, thank you for your comments, suggestions, and your messages. I received many uh, questions and many queries about how you can manage your individual um, independent, independent midwifery sector. Actually, I got uh, many uh, comments from some of you, my dear friends from different countries that you were complaining about uh, there is no job position for you and you, were look, you are looking for some uh, career opportunity. Just I want to tell you one important thing. I want to share about my experience. Uh, besides, I was working for government in Dubai and Iran. I never was feeling complete to be as an employee and from a very young age I started to have my own work and my own employee because I like to create job I like to create job for myself and for others sometimes to being as an entrepreneur is not easy I know it is very challenging time maybe you can't believe that I was 22 years old just I graduated from my Bachelor of Midwifery and I started to run my own business in uh, private sector it's not a small things and we should be so much confident to start experiencing the market by our knowledge and slowly, slowly get experience to develop our career as well. So I want to talk about some important things that if you want to be as an innovative midwife, if you want to be an entrepreneur and you yourself create job for yourself and for others, just you have to work on your skills and your motivation yes the most important things for a midwife and independent childbirth educator is that to be motivated it is very important that you can be always positive and ignore negative in your working place try to find some new way to survive your work and your business. Midwifery is very challenging job. Midwifery is very sociable and so a multi-dimensional job. You can work as an educator. You can work in public health sector. You can be as one of NGO member and you can create some campaign to help to mothers and to expectant parents. In the meantime, you can create job and this job opportunity for others. And it is so lovable because when you make a new job and when you start a new business and make other people to work in that sector, it has too much bliss for you psychologically and even spiritually make you so much happy and God give bliss on that business. The important thing as a midwife, an independent midwife, is that to be persistent to your, jo to your job, to your midwifery work. Sticking with the job and try to work 24-7 on that. I know it's not easy. I know you have to be so much passion. I know it's not that much uh, free time like working as employee, but you will be so innovative and you will try to uh, manage your challenges by yourself. You will be very fantastic problem solver after some times. The other important things, as a midwife and as an individual independent midwife, that you want to run your birth center, your community center, your um, training um, groups, 
as a leader is that you try to be resilient. You have to find solution for every challenges that happening suddenly without expectation. Yes. As a midwife, if we run a birth center or if we work as some postnatal midwife, every time we will find some new challenges that maybe we were not finding in our previous experience. But midwifery is like this. Midwifery is this. Midwifery is like studying and try to get new experience because every mother and every family are different by each other. The most important things to be as a leader midwife or being as an independent midwife is to be competitive. Yes, in some countries that I was working, we have many independent midwife working there. And we have many gynecologists that they are working in the same field in prenatal classes and obstetric and midwifery. You should have some value added and always think how to increase your value that be always one step upper than your competitors. It comes by training, it comes by studying new methods and sitting with others to listen from others' um, midwife. The most important things as a midwife and independent midwife is that to have very, very fantastic human, human relation skills. Human relation skills help us that we can uh, try to manage our groups and our groups members as our colleagues, as our expectant parents, or during the birth and after birth, with mothers and the person company with her. We have to be very, very skilled in relation because for midwifery, we have to know how to convince people. We have to know how to discuss about different decisions that mother can think about that. Because if we be very good negotiator or if we can be a good um, relation uh, manager, we can make a mother more confident to decide for her and the family feel more confident with us. We have to know how to talk about advantages and disadvantages, all of the techniques for the birth. And sometimes we need to talk and have a good relation with our colleagues who are working in our team to deliver the best services to our uh, clients. The other important things that we have to consider as an independent midwife and to be successful in this um, work is that uh, we have to be decisive. Yes, it's not easy to be decisive, I know, but you have to think about challenges and be ready to decide very fast for mother and family. <laughs> for example, if you are engaged with some normal birth, Every human has different process of the birth. Early labor and, uh, and active labor, we have different unexpected things that may happen. So we as a midwife, we have to be decisive. And if we can be decisive, we can make sure our team and our clients to trust us. Otherwise, if we don't be that much competent to be, to be this fast decision maker, our client and our team will not trust to us anymore and we cannot lead our team in the proper way. And the other important issue that we have to consider about that is lifestyle implication. All of midwife need some lifestyle implication, plus they should have some in very healthy lifestyle, lifestyle beside that. We have to think about our times, how to manage it, and how to take care of our health, how to be a good role model for mother as a best lifestyle in the diet, in doing exercise, 
being happy and being optimistic. Always should be positive thinking and energetic that the mothers get this much energy from us because the mother are depends to midwife and childbed educator. They have to feel that much happy, fresh and energetic when they come to visit you. And after that, when they leave you, they should be so much happy from that meeting. The other important and last tips to be as an independent midwife is knowing when to ask for advice or help. Always try to have one coach and consultant midwife in your business and in your job. Yes, you need to consider one role model as a leader and as a motivator. I know you want to reach to the best. So you have to think to the best that to reach to that. Otherwise, it's not easy to reach to that level. So all of the midwife, they need advisor and coach in training, in their work, and even in their management skills. I hope uh, these tips that you were asking several times through message and email could help you. I don't want you to be disappointed and thinking why there is no job, why we are not getting job. Try. Yes, move. And from now, start to create a job. Don't forget, midwifery is independent skill. It's an independent job. And you don't, not, you don't need to be employee. You have to start up and innovate plus be as an entrepreneur. Tomorrow in our webinar, according 10 a.m. Uh, universal time, we will have many fantastic speakers. There are uh, more than 15 years experience from different countries and most of them are independent midwife. They can tell you some of the tips and their experience that maybe help you in your future. Because as much as you sit with the entrepreneurs and with experienced midwife or in your skills and in your field, you will learn more tips to improve your practice. I hope to see you then. And if you let me, just I want to talk some short five minutes for some of our uh, Farsi language friends that they ask me to talk in Farsi, like Afghanistan and Tajikistan friends. Thank you so much. Salam, dostan azizam. Umid boram ki halatun khub bishe. Bahsi ke emruz dar barash khasam bukanam peyroi soalati bud ke shoma parsi bud. پرسیده بودین که چرا شغل نیست چرا کار نیست چرا جای استخدام نیست و شاکی بودین از اینکه نمیتونین درآمدی رو از مامایی پیدا کنین برای خودت اولین چیزی که من میخواستم بهش خیلی خیلی ذکر کنم این هستش که مامایی یک شغل کاملا غیر وابسته است یعنی یک اندیویدوال شغل شغل انفرادی و این شغل این به صورت این هست که شما این خودتون بیزینس رو تولید کنید انترپرونر باشین کارآفرین باشین کسی که کارآفرین باشه میتونه برای دیگران هم شغل ایجاد کنه کسی که کارآفرین باشه دنبال یافتن شغل در هر شرایطی هست شاید براتون جالب باشه که خود من این شرایط رو تجربه کردم و 22 ساله که به عنوان یک فرد کارآفرین همیشه خودم شغل رو تولید کردم و دیگرانم در اون شغل سهیم کردم به نوعی کار ایجاد کردم برای دیگران بله در زمانی که 22 سالم بود یک سهامی رو از یک مرکزی خریدم و برای یک دختر 22 ساله که تازه دو سال از طرحش گذشته بود و تجربه چندانی هم توی بیزینس نداشتم شروع به کار کردم و در کنار متخصصین زیادی که همگی برای خودشون دارای یک مقام و یک تجربه طولانی داشتن یک دختر 22 ساله براش خیلی سنگین بود که بخواد یک سهامدار بشه و یک واحد زنان رو راه اندازی کنه ولی همیشه در کنار شغل هایی که حالا چه در دوبه و چه در ایران برای دولت کار می کردم همیشه شغل خودم رو ادامه می دادم و دوست داشتم خودم خلق کننده شغل هم باشم و این باعث شد که من توی 20 سال همیشه موفق باشم و در کشورهای مختلف خودم کارآفرین باشم 
کارآفرینی حس زیبای روحی و انسانی خوبی میده چون شما با این کار کمک میکنین افراد دیگه هم کار بهشون برسه برشون کار ایجاد میکنین برای ماما شغل کارآفرینی یعنی کارآفرین بودن یک مهارتی که باید داشته باشه چون شغل ما خیلی وسیع هست به شرطی که باید روحیات کارآفرینی اون رو تقویت بکنیم خودمون رو غیر وابسته بکنیم به کارمندی چون کارمندی برای بعضی روحیات مثل روحیات من خیلی پاسخگو نیست از جمله موارد مهمی که گفتم یکی داشتن اشتیاق و موتیویشن هستش و دیگه این که باید حتما به کار با کارتون بچسبین و اصلا رها نکنی بسیار باید وقت بذارین شبانه روز و اینکه باید آماده باشین که با اتفاقهای ناگوار و ناگهانی بتونین چلنج ایجاد کنی و بتونین رو به رو بشین یک از روحیاتی که بتونین کارآفرین باشین این هستش که رقابت پذیر باشین و مدام رقابتون رو بررسی کنین و بتونین یک مزیت رقابتی داشته باشین و در کنارش روابط انسانی نحوه مذاکره نحوه برقراری ارتباط مهارت هاش رو باید یاد بگیریم با بیمارتون با همکارتون با شریکاتون که بتونیم موفق بشیم و در کنارش بودن یک فرد قدرتمند تصمیم گیرنده باید بتونیم تصمیم گیرنده باشیم و داشتن یک سبک زندگی بسیار قدرتمند سلامت و با یک برنامه بسیار کامل از لحاظ نوع تغذیه خوب سلامت رسیدگی به ظاهر که بتونیم یک الگوی قابل اعتماد برای مادرانی باشیم که میخوان پیش ما مراجعه کنند و از ما الگو بگیرن و اینکه هر وقت نیاز به کمک داشتیم از مربیان مشاوران کمک بگیریم و همیشه توی زندگیمون یک فردی رو به عنوان مشاور حقوقی مشاور مدیریتی مشاور کاری و از سینیورها و کوچهای مختلف استفاده کنیم تا بتونیم روز به روز موفق بشیم خیلی خوشحال شدم از اینکه در خدمتون بودم خواهش میکنم این ویدیو رو شیر کنین اگر دوست داشتین و بذارین یک زنجیره ای از کمک به دوستان دیگه در ارتقاء علم مامایشون باشیم تا کانال یوتیوب ما لیلی مام سنتر ال ام سی لطفا سابسکرایب کنید و اون دکمه زن، دکمه زنگوله رو بزنید Thank you everybody for bearing my five minutes Farsi talking for my Afghanistan and Tajikistan and all Persian language friends so Please, if you liked our topics, I know that maybe you have more knowledge than me. Just I want to share some of my small experience of 20 years work. So if you found it uh, useful and if you liked it, please share with your other friends and subscribe our Lily Mom channel in YouTube. In YouTube, you can go to Lily Mom Center, LMC. Do subscribe and press the bell. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to share and tomorrow I hope to see you. Have a great day ahead. Love you.